and then I will continue to the dimensioning okay so prior you going to create a dimension you need to know which which are the the functional part of the dimension okay so the functional part I will make it a node which is uh, because as a functional this kind of the electric part we need to consider to the uh, distance between those two connector right and also as the ground so the important or the functional part which is this the distance of these two and the distance from this uh, electrical to the ground side okay like so so from here I will make a mark to this distance okay and also the distance from yeah probably from the center here and then to the outer here okay and yeah I think that one and also for the length okay so this one have a line also important so here okay this one is also important okay so I will put an asterisk okay it means this one is the functional uh, functional dimension okay so I will keep in mind okay the rest probably I will continue to the creating the dimension line uh, so probably I will create this uh, this one is a diameter okay so this one diameter and also this one let's say we also need the dimension here okay and then uh, wait let me let me create this one first okay so I will extend over there okay and then so this one yeah, this one should be have the dimension okay okay should be have a dimension length this one as well okay And then also this one, okay. And this one is just the diameter, so I will create this diameter. And then the cross section of this uh, rectangle, so I will give the leader point. And then this one has a symbol. And then there is a height, and then width. Okay, keep it. Okay, so after that, uh, what else? Uh, at the top view, so the tip is when you going to create a dimension, you need to consider and then you need to give the complete uh, information at the one side first. For example, this one is from the top view. What kind of the information that we can get as maximum as possible uh, from the top view? Okay, so from the top view, yeah, probably I think this one is uh, quite uh, good enough for the information. Uh, the width also already done. Okay, okay, and then how about the radius here? So the radius here, actually if we examine of this shape, so I think this one should be uh let on in the cat so we can find this uh edges here not to precision is okay because i think this one the important thing is from the front view so if this one from the front view and then they will go in uh extrude here and then they will extrude in the uh, taper angle to this uh, uh surface okay so Okay, so from the top view, I think it's enough the information. 
so right now in the from the side view so from the side view as we know because this one has the same diameter cable so we don't need to put any of the dimension again here as well as here but you need to consider the grooving okay so the grooving oh i think the grooving i need to create this uh, line again here okay so this is the, for the grooving okay okay so for the grooving i will create the dimension here okay this one okay so the distance the overall distance to the here okay so this is the overall distance okay overall distance and then after that uh, in between of the distance okay so this one is the in between okay is the in between so probably this one in the in between is the same as the uh, dimension here the in between here okay 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 so we're going to recheck again with the caliper okay okay and then uh, uh, I need to erase that this one okay I need to erase the the part of here okay from here okay and then I need to create the bolt area okay so the bolt here okay and then like so okay like so the bolt okay okay and then what is that the information we need to consider which is the here so we need to measure here and then measure the overall uh, overall height of this particular front view okay okay so probably i will create here so the value will written over there and this value will written over there okay and then from here uh, because this one have a slightly have a taper angle so we need to measure this taper angle how much is the taper angle over there and then uh, if I continue the line so there will be a line like so okay so I will need the line here okay how much is the length here as well and then okay yeah and then this one okay okay and then so this one is basically the shape here Okay, and then we need to consider the length here. Okay. okay, so and then the overall length, probably from here. Okay, so we right now we already identify all the uh, dimension needed for this particular part. And then we're going to continue with the uh, measuring all of those dimensions from this uh, part. Okay.